Hello, hello, hello. Um, this is more than anything a little test. Um, a test inspired by my good friend Trudy, Trudy Arthur's. During the week there, Trudy did a an excellent um, Facebook Live. It was the first of a series that she's going to do, and she was brilliant. And I have to say that she um, inspired me, inspired me to try and do it myself. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be able to match Trudy's standards. Um, but I thought I would give this a wee go. So anybody who knows me and knows what I do with Guild Kristen Co. will know that a big part of my role is practice development. And as a small practice, our practice development is really about building relationships. That's essentially what it comes down to. It's about Michelle and I going out into the world, letting people know who we are, giving them an opportunity to make a judgment on whether or not we are credible and professional and, and can do what it says on the tin, and um, trying to be helpful. That's, that's really the essence of how we um, develop things at Gilchrist & Co. And it's worked. It, it honestly has worked. It's worked really well for us because over the years, 10 years now, we've been in business and um, maybe it's scary to think it's Michelle and I have both been um, working as accountants for about 20 years each. Um, we've built up around us a great network. A great network of people, not just clients and suppliers and, and trainers and mentors, but um, just people who know who we are, who have loose connections with us and they'll come over and say hello or they'll have a conversation or they'll keep us informed on what's going on. So that's all worked very well and to the extent that we're effectively, I wouldn't say we're full, um, but we are certainly busy all the time. And the problem with being that sort of success is that it takes away time to do what we usually like to do, to get out there into the big bad world and to see as many people as possible and to talk to as many people as possible because in fact we're at our desks now um, doing all the work that we've won. So having been inspired by Trudy Arthur's um, um, Facebook Live that she did during the week, and I was genuinely inspired. She was great, um, um, very encouraging, um, very open, um, very honest. And I thought, do you know what, actually, that was nice. And Trudy didn't have to go anywhere in order to do that. She was able to do it from her own office. I'd like to try something like that. So that's what this is. That's why I'm doing a Facebook Live right now. It's about trying to be a little bit cleverer about the way I connect to our network and how we grow the network and how we communicate and how we help people. So, um, inspired by Trudy, this is my Facebook Live on connecting to people. Um, and what I would like to do is have this be the start of something that's actually quite regular. And what do I know? You know, I'm no expert on social media or um, business networking or any of that stuff, but there's stuff that has worked for me over the years. There's stuff that has really worked out, you know, that's, that's, that's made our business be a success. And what I would like to do is to share that um, and hopefully make it a little bit interesting, you know, um, by not just talking about me, but talking about the people that I've worked with and the, um, the stories that have occurred. And yes, Michael, thank you very much. I am in the camper van. And it is quite nice. Thank you, thank you for that. Um, it's it's actually a bit warm at the moment. <laughs> I should I should really open a window, but um, there's tinted windows in the van, and what they do is they stop the really bright light affecting the picture on the live. So that's that's why my my face is quite red. It's quite warm in here at the moment. But what I want to do, sorry, to get back to the point, what I would like to do is just share the stories of. Um, in regard to networking, collaboration and um, working with other people to, to develop our businesses, tell the story of what has worked for me uh, and share that and, and hopefully some of that will be useful, but also have this be a conversation. So as much as it's me telling the story of what I did, I would love to hear from you guys and hear from what's worked for you or um, if you've 
been involved in any of the things I've been done, what, what you felt worked or, or maybe even didn't work, although um, I'd rather positive stories rather than, than negative stories. And um, see if there's something that we can do together. So it's not just about me talking, it's about um, you and me working together to try and do something useful that, that, that's mutually beneficial for our businesses. So the first thing would be um, the stories about what has worked for me. The second thing is um, I would like to, if I'm going to do this on a regular basis, and hopefully I will, we'll see how this first one works out. Um, if I'm doing this on a regular basis, um, to give advice um, on how I did what I did. So um, there's quite a few things. How did I set up the Social Media Association for Business at the University of Ulster, um, which had up to 200 attendees at, at its most successful. I sold more than 2,000 attendees over the course of a year. How did we get the sponsorship and the speakers and the, the panellists? How did we engage the university? Advice in regards to that, um, what we did with Down Enterprise Park and how I got involved in that and how I became a board a board member and then ultimately became the chairman of the board of Down Enterprise Park. How, how, how do you get that and is it useful and how would it help your business? And then apart from the advice, I think more importantly is the stories. The stories, um, practical examples of what someone like me and someone like you, who's not an expert in media or social media or networking or business development, what are the practical examples of what's worked for my business and your business? So I don't want to just tell my stories. I would love to be able to tell your stories as well. Um, so I suppose to finish up, because I don't want to be waffling on here for ages, but um, what I would like to ask you, and this is a genuine question. What can I do for you? Not, I'm not looking for, this isn't a paid for service, this isn't a um, reciprocation as expected type of thing. Um, genuinely, what can I do for you with regard to business networking, um, collaboration, supporting each other and getting the story or the brand of your business out to the world? And I do have a selfish interest. The reason I want to help you in a non-reciprocal, non-business way, but you know, just trying to help each other out is quite simply this. I have found over the years um, that the best way to build credibility is to be associated with good people. So if I can be associated with what you're doing, by sharing you the story of what you're doing and, and, and engaging with um, helping you getting your brand out to my audience, that can only be good for me. Because if you're good at what you do, if you're offering a great service, I want to tell the world about that because people start using that and they get the benefit that I've either received or your, your previous customers received or that I've heard about before. That can only do me good. So how can I help you do that. Please um, get in contact with me either by messaging me later on or messaging certainly on the wall. I would love to do that. Now, a couple of suggestions um, just in case you're wondering, what, what, what could Martin do? What, 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 what's, he, what's he offering? Well, a um, couple of things. The first thing and the most easy thing is um, profiling you or your business. Now, what we do, I have a, a, a small web page which I'm going to update but at the moment it's called um, I Associate and all it does is it's a profile picture so a picture of yourself and details of what it is that you do so it's a personal business profile now it's not necessarily all about your business it's what you do because that's what people are interested in to be honest they're interested in you and what you do in your business so if you have a, a personal business profile um, I would love to be able to share that for you because it's great for me. It's great content for my social media audience. Um, the second thing is if you're holding an event, big event, small event, doesn't matter. There could be only five people at it or there could be 500 people at it. And you would like me to share the story either on my events page or even across my social media profiles, I'm going to be more than happy to do that. As a matter of fact, I love getting involved in these things. Now, the time I have is limited, but in the past, so I suppose the most recent event I would have been um, involved in was James Perry, What Is My Motivation event that we held down in the Hart Bar um, last month. We, I think about 35, 40 people turned up. 
Um, the event was scheduled from 6 until 8, at half 10 that night there were still people there um, which gives an indication of how well it went but the preparation for that event was great fun we were doing Facebook live videos, we were um, interviewing people that were going to go to the event the searching for an event space itself and then setting up the event there's, there's a great deal of fun and engagement and um, just... just um, just the whole feel good factor about that was very very good. I love getting involved with that sort of stuff so if you're holding an event certainly let me know and I will do what I can do to help there. And finally this this might be a very simple idea um, a very simple idea but I'm uh, sorry I got distracted Declan just sent me through a wee message there but um, just got myself back in. A very simple idea is in relation to business cards I have millions <laughs> <laughs> literally a house coming down with business cards I've received from people while I've been out networking and going to events. Like if you go to an event and don't come home with two or three business cards, um, that would be very unusual. And over the years I've been to lots of events and got lots of business cards and they're all sitting in the drawer. Now these are all people. Every single one of those business cards has been someone I have had a conversation with. And those conversations are incredibly valuable because you've got an opportunity to know a little bit about that person, to, to make a judgment on them, to, to see what they're like face to face, um, eyeball to eyeball, and genuinely to hear why they're passionate about their business. And I've got stacks of those business cards, but I haven't had an opportunity to share the story of those people, the conversation that I had with them that they want me to share with the world. And one of the things I would like to do is start a directory, a simple directory where I effectively take a picture of the business card, um, include it with a picture of the person I met, and then give them a little bit of a profile. What is their business? What do they do? That would be the initial thing, but imagine if I could then interview that person. Head off in my camper van, meet up with them somewhere, and do a short five minute interview that explains who the person is, what they do, how we know each other, and uh, what it is that they're doing um, to make to make it work for them. What 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 makes it um, what makes the world go round for them as far as business is concerned. So, guys, that's it. That's all I really wanted to do. Um, this is hopefully the first of I don't know maybe a few, maybe many, but it's all about connecting. It's how I can genuinely help you get the story of your business out help you with that connecting process I'm open to ideas I, I would love to hear more and I'm, the reason I'm waffling a little bit is the camera is over there I'm over here and I have to hit the stop button <laughs> somehow so uh, please apologies um, for I fumble about here trying to get this thing turned off thanks for thanks for joining me and I will be um, giving you the date of the next event it will be more structured, it will be about something specific and hopefully it will be about something that's actually a little bit more useful to you coming up soon. Guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend, see you later, all the best, bye